It's another Saturday morning here at the campus of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, and we are here to bring you another edition of Stateside Footy, the cable access program all about Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Greetings once again from Briggs Field. Alongside camera people Stacey Robert, Connor Shute, and Kyle Serino, I'm Bill Robert, welcoming you in for another dose of televised footy as the River Rats and Lobstermen tangle in Metro-style Aussie rules action. It's taken the Lobstermen a few tries over the last couple of years, but the last time these two sides met, the Lobbies were able to get over the line and hand the Rats a sizable defeat. Adam Shippers and David Meisner played a big part in the win for the Lobstermen, who won by a score of 26 goals, 12 behinds, 162 points, to 10 goals, 12 behinds, 72 points. The River Rats, in the meantime, took on the Quebec Saints as part of an exhibition game that was played on the heels of the recent Lady Demons footy tournament. The Rats repelled the visitors in fine style, amassing a score of 15 goals, 7 behinds, 97 points to the Saints four goals six behinds 30 points right now in the Demons Metro competition each of the three teams has a win and four total standings points the main difference comes in the scoring percentage which undeniably puts the River Rats at the top of the local ladder these two teams are facing each other again today as the Metro schedule winds its way down and two teams will play for the top prize in the Demons Metro competition the Chowder Cup after the break we'll get underway with our coverage of today's footy match here in Cambridge it's the River Rats and the Lobstermen and they play next, right here on Stateside Footy.
getting set for some more Aussie rules here out at uh, Briggs Field today on the campus of MIT, where we've got the usual combatants. We've got the river rats, and we also have the lobster men out there. And right now, umpire Bruce Rogers is getting everyone in place and getting them ready to go. <laughs> and we have footy. And the sprinklers here at Briggs Field have kicked in, and they're just going to play in it. This is funny. Love Cats handballs it ahead now. It's taken by the Lobster Men. They're moving with an out big kick up to the forward 50, looking for shippers. Shippers can't get it. PJ Devine with the spoil there. Handballed ahead by Smith over to Burbank. Burbank is going to kick an easy six. So the Lobster Men drop first blood and they lead one straight six to nothing over the River Rats as they bring it back out to center for another ball up. And uh, they're playing through this. The sprinklers at Briggs Field have come on, which causes kind of a, an interesting issue. Not so much for the players because they're used to playing in this type of condition. Not so much for the sprinklers, but this game has played rain or shine. But obviously, uh, our position there, we've already had to move one of our camera people and we may have to move our portable press box set up too because of the fact that, well, let's just put it this way, an old classic thing. Water and electronics do not mix. Coming off of that uh, ball up was taken out by Matt, but he had it, and Ross Druckenmiller tackled him. He's going to get the call for holding the ball. So the uh, River Rats get the free kick. He does kick it ahead. And tried to get it to Aylward. Wasn't happening. Burbank tries to get it out. Now he's being challenged. He's knocked down, and uh, they're on the far boundary for it. Still battling. Lacombe's got it now. He's able to handball it off, trying to get it to Lev Katz. Couldn't do it. And it's going back now. I believe that's Druckenmiller with it now. Druckenmiller with a kick in towards the uh, attacking end. And they try and get it out. And the kick goes toward the goal. And that's actually going to be a behind. Went a little wide to the right, but it does still represent the first score for the River Rats. And they now trail one straight six to one behind one. And the kick goes out, and it's marked there by Earl Even. The kick in from Eric Jordica of the Lobstermen. And, oh, that's a nice mark there. And they'll keep it going now. They'll just kick it right up the corridor, it looks like. And almost marked there by Shippers. It goes to ground. Shippers is in there as well as Katz and Connor. Zach Slater's in there as well. And uh, Taryn Byrne gets it to Slater. Slater kicks it over looking for Burbank, but it's marked by Lacombe in defense for the River Rats. And here come the Rats again. Moving up. Oh, it takes a weird bounce. Katz is there now. So is Burbank. Katz gets it. Gets it. A handball. Uh, Lacombe can't field it, though. Ten Burren knocks it ahead. And uh, now with it is uh, P.J. Devine for the River Rats. Handballed uh, away and then back to Devine. And now Gutten. And here come the Rats. It looks like that's Druckenmiller. Ross Druckenmiller kicks it ahead, looking for the sticks. And, oh, Edward touches it. It might have gone through the sticks, but Edward tried to mark it. It bounced off his hands, and it's another behind for the River Rats. So they've got uh, twice as many scoring shots as the Lobstermen, but they trail by four right now. It's uh, one straight six to uh, two behinds, two, And the uh, kick-in goes all the way out, and Shippers marks it. Shippers kicks towards the sticks, and it looks like that's going to be a goal. Is it? Got to double-check that. That's a goal, all right. Shippers gets his first score of the morning here. This is a particular set of activities. Now that uh, we're trying to move our cameras into safer positions. At some point, you might see a lot of, lot of footage from our other boundary cam because it seems to be out of the line of fire, but where we are at the booth and uh, where our other boundary cam is, uh, just the other boundary cam was getting nailed, but uh, we're working with it, and off of the, uh, the clearance there, the... Uh, River Rats hit out to advantage. Katz had it handball to Druckenmiller, who now kicks it into the River Rats attacking end, but it's taken there by Earl Even of the Lobstermen. And it's marked. Mark taken by Matt of the Lobstermen. And it goes up. Shippers goes off his hands. And then he's knocked down from behind by P.J. Devine. Devine playing some good defense right now for the River Rats. Gets it over to Lev Katz. Katz now kicks it out. He is looking for an almost gets Lacombe. Nice little bit of a juggling job, but he had uh, Sean Burbank harassing him. 
And now with it is Drucken Miller over to Connor now. Joe Connor with a big kick toward the sticks. And let's see how this one fares. That's going to hit the uh, behind post. So that doesn't count for anything, actually. That's going to be out on the full. Free kick for the lobbies in their own back pocket. Jordica kicks it out now of the back pocket. And Matt gets it once again. And, yes, it's just Matt. No, he's not trying to be like Madonna or one of those one-name people. It's just when we got the list, we only got the one name on it, so we're just going with it. Even gets it now. He kicks it over, looking for something, somebody, anybody, but uh, winds up being fisted ahead by Joe Connor. With it now is Dave Morton. Morton kicks it toward the sticks, and I think that's going to be another behind. So, once again, the River Rats leading in scoring shots but trailing overall. Because the lobster men have been kicking straight or have been more efficient with their scoring chances. And now it's uh, two straight 12 to three behinds three. And the kick in from Jordica goes to even once again. Even kicks it. And it looks like it's gone out to Matt again. He'll uh, put it up now. Go ahead for grabs and back to Jordica. Jordica moving up the field a little bit there. He's uh, got a kick there looking for Shippers or Ten Buren. It's uh, spoiled there by Devine. Devine gets the crumbs and uh, then just handballs it ahead. Tries to get it to Lev Katz, and Katz is away. Here come the River Rats. Druckenmiller's got it now. Druckenmiller kicks it ahead, looking for someone once again in their forward scoring area. And, oh, it's almost marked there by uh, James Aylward. However, he's able to handball it off. Dave Morton, who just kicked it behind, he'll kick it toward the goals. And looks like he'll kick another behind. No, that's actually a goal. It did go straighter this time. So as a result now, the River Rats close the lead. And the score is now two straight 12 to 1-3-9. Nice job there by Morton. Two quick scoring shots. One was a behind, one was a goal, a major and a minor for Dave Morton. Which makes him right now the leading scorer in this match early on. Keeping in mind, too, the other thing with all the uh, the, the water here, of course, the, uh, foot, the footing is going to get a little slippery, and the ball is going to be really slick, too, because a footy is not uh, dimpled like an American football. So when it gets wet, sometimes it can be like a, one of those, like they say, like a greased pig. The kick goes over now and uh, taken by the River Rats. And it uh, looks like Morton has it again. He handballs it over to Katz now. Katz can't uh, get it, though. He's being harassed by Matt. Handball comes out, tipped ahead by uh, Slater. Jordic is with it now. He gets himself a little bit of space and is able to get it to the boot. Kicks looking for Burbank. And he's got him. Burbank carouses just before it goes over the boundary. And he kicks it up the wing now. Looking for 10 Barron, but winding up getting it there once again for the River Rats' P.J. Devine. However, we mentioned that slick ground. He has a problem with the running bounce. He's able to get it up and handball it to Connor. And uh, Connor kicks it in. Oh, nice uh, mark there. Is that Morton again? He's just going to try a centering ball. And Katz will take it. Katz will play on, and he'll kick another one towards the sticks. And I believe that's a goal, too. Well, Mark Fleet is uh, kicking it back towards center, so absolutely. So the River Rats have all of a sudden jumped in front. And they now lead 2-3-15 to 2 straight 12. So of the uh, games between the River Rats and the Lobstermen in the last couple of years, the uh, River Rats have been the more dominant club. Lobstermen getting out to a quick start, but the River Rats catching them and pulling ahead. So we'll see what happens here. Tossed up for grabs once again. In the ruck, Burbank for the uh, Lobstermen. Lacomi for the River Rats. Lacomi uh, hits it out to advantage over to Morton. Morton kicks it toward the boundary, but the first one there is Jordica, who will take it for the Lobstermen. And it's marked. Sean Burbank at about uh, halfback, center halfback. Kicks it now going up the corridor, trying to move it up. Uh, they have it now, and they handball it ahead. And uh, with it there is Ten Buren. Ten Buren, the kick is going to stay straight. That'll be all. Oh, actually, that'll be a behind. Lost track of where the posts were for a second there, but uh, there we go. Another scoring shot for the Lobster Men. And now the score stands 2 3 15 for the River Rats and 2 1 13 for the Lobster Men. So far, a close match. And the uh, kick in taken by the River Rats can't be marked by Connor. However, P.J. Devine gets it now. Connor catches it there, handballs it right back to Devine. Devine with it now, running up the corridor. He's corralled by uh, Zach Slater. Lev Katz has it now, and he's just going to put a big kick on. It'll bounce before it gets to the goals, and it's going to roll out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in. Tossed in there by a goal-slash-boundary umpire, Mark Sleet. 
And knocked out to advantage there by Even. Gets it over to Matt. Over to Burbank, it looks like. Or was that Even? No, that was Burbank. Now to Jordica. Back to Burbank. Burbank kicks it ahead now. Going up to Carter. And Ten Buren's got it. And he'll stop. He won't play on. He'll take the set shot. And he'll do the uh, the kick ahead now. And, oh, it's marked right in front. Shippers right in front. That's going to be a super tough angle, though. Will he try the uh, check side punt, the banana? Or is he going to try a centering ball? He's just uh, he's actually going to put it across the face of goal looking for a, sni a Slater. Slater kicks it in. Oh, he misses. He had it right in front, was able to get it to the boot, but he just put it left. As a result now, it's a pretty close game, actually. It's only a point. 2-3 two, to 2-2. Two, two. River Rats over the Lobster Men, 15-14 to 14 right now. With uh, just over five minutes out till quarter time. Good match so far, once again. And the wet, too, as they say in Australia. Some players, they say they like to play in the wet, and right now these guys are doing it because they're keeping this pretty close. Lamar, uh, actually, Lacomi takes the mark off of the uh, kick in. And he kicks it up now. Looking for, but not getting his man, so it's going to be tipped out by. Zach Slater, who's outnumbered 4-1. to one. Katz has it now. He handballs it to Elward. Elward juggles, but he's able to get it now. Handball, over, and the kick. And let's see, it's going to roll in, and it's going to be... Oh, he stops it right before it went over the line. Nice little uh, saving job there by Earl Even. And it goes to Burbank, who now kicks it into center. And it's tipped there and spoiled by Dave Morton. Morton, though, corralled by Tim Buren. Now with it is Lacomi, who... Uh, Makes another big kick. That one's going to be huge, and it's going to be marked right before it gets over the line. Once again, early even back there. Never mind fullback. Right now, his title should be goaltender. And the big kick in, and that's a nice mark there by Shippers. That was beautiful. Shippers will kick it ahead now. And he's got it right to Matt. Matt, he's got it, and that looks like it's going to be a goal. The lobster men may just have retaken the lead. Looking to get the official determination from the goal umpire. Although everyone's walking back to center. So indeed, that is a goal. So the Lobster Men are now back in front. After a couple of behinds, they kicked their third goal. And now the score stands. The Lobster Men, 3-2-20. And the River Rats, 2-3-15. And the Sprinklers are off here at Briggs Field. But obviously, they still played nonetheless. The only... Effect was uh, we had to move our cameras out of position and had to kind of redo everything. So, but everything's good. <clears throat> um, you may notice there's a smudge or two on the camera. The camera actually got hit while we were doing this. The camera got hit with the water, and all we had to clean off the lens was a dollar bill. So, uh, hopefully, we get the lens clean. But if there's a smudge or two, please bear with us. And uh, coming off of that uh, ball up, it uh, went to to the Lobsterman's favorite, but they kick it, and it's taken now by Dave Morton. Morton kicks it ahead. And Burbank can't mark it. He just uh, kind of just shovels it ahead. Some umpires might have called a throw on that. Matt's got it now. Matt kicks it ahead. Lobstermen have numbers, but they can't get the ball. A little bit of a, spoil, a spoil there by Druckenmiller. And then Druckenmiller pulls Ten Buren off the ball, and I believe Ten Buren's going to be called for holding the ball. So once again, another free kick gotten by Ross Druckenmiller for tackling someone and dispossessing them and getting a holding the ball call. And Lev Katz will kick it ahead now. And, oh, nice mark there. I believe that's Elward once again for the River Rats. It's within a kick, so a good long kick will put them right back in front. He's just going to kick it in. It's marked. And he's just going to kick it toward the sticks, and that's going to be a behind, it looks like. Indeed it is, as Mark Sleet hands it to Eric Jordica, and Jordica will take the kick in now for the Lobstermen. 20-16 to 16 right now, the score. Lobstermen still in the lead, and the kick. Another great kick from Jordica out to Shippers. These two worked really well together. And Shippers now kicks it ahead. Nice, beautiful kick. However, that's a really nice spoil by Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller on uh, Zach Slater. Lacomi takes it now. And uh, 
He's just going to turn around and play on. And, oh, almost taken there by Divine. Divine, uh, I'm sorry, that's Katz. Katz actually kind of a, a back handball gets it to Connor. And uh, the kick stopped right in front once again. Earl even in the role as goaltender. There are no goaltenders in Aussie rules, obviously, but he's pretty much acting like one right now. The River Rats kick one near the sticks, and he's there to get it away before it goes over the line. Kick now goes up towards Jordica, who tries to handball it and get it to himself, tries to get it to sit for him, but in doing so, just winds up rolling the ball out of bounds. So we will have a boundary throw in on the far boundary. And uh, goal umpire, I'm sorry, boundary umpire Emily Real throws it back in. Of course, Emily Real from the women's team. A bunch of the Lady Demons came to help out today. And the kick there, once again, uh, knocked. It goes off shippers. And I believe it's going to go out of bounds once again. Like you see there, uh, Emily's got the uh, the water bottles and the uh, the boundary duty. So she's a, a runner slash boundary umpire. So, And the Lady Ds will come to help out. And, of course, obviously, the Demons will help out when the Lady Ds play as well. That one's going to be out. I believe it's on the full free kick to the Lobster Men. Sean Burbank to take the free kick now for the Lobbies. Attempt to add to their lead. Right now the man on the mark is Ross Druckenmiller. And big kick up by Burbank. Where is that one going to go? Uh, it's going to bounce, and I believe it's going to go through. That's going to be a point. So the Lobstermen add to their lead, but not significantly. It's still within a kick. 21-16 to 16 right now. 3-3-21. Two two four sixteen, and the kick in taken by the River Rats and goes to Lacomi who takes the mark. Lacomi directing traffic, trying to get that target. Nice big booming kick by Lacomi, but it's going to wind up going uh, closest to I believe that's uh, early even once again. Even doing a nice job in defense so far for the Lobstermen. With it now is Burbank. Burbank kicks it ahead, and the ball is going to go loose. The call right now is go fetch, but it's going to go over the line first. So we'll have another boundary throw in. And up it goes. And as it goes, that's going to do it. That's uh, quarter time. Good uh, bit of footy so far between both clubs. A little bit of a surprise there with the sprinklers coming on, but they stayed through it. And so far, they've been going with it and just playing a good game of footy. At the end of one, the score stands. The Lobstermen, three goals, three behinds, 21 points. And the River Rats, two goals, four behind, 16 points. Coming up next, we'll have second quarter action. It's Metro Footy here at Briggsfield in Cambridge, and you're watching it on Stateside Footy. In the event of a car crash, three out of four kids are not as secure as they should be because their car seats are not used correctly. But the latch system makes it easier to get it right and to hold your kids tight. Anchor. Tether. Latch. Learn more at safercar.gov. Just to give you an idea of uh, what was going on here when the uh, sprinklers started oscillating, they started oscillating toward us. You can see our main camera here on the uh, crane get hit, so we had to wipe that off. In addition, our boundary shot, too, uh, with uh, our man Connor was hit. You see right here. It's kind of getting nailed, and Connor has to run out of the way. And uh, there we are, trying to clean it off with a dollar bill. Not quite happening. So <laughs> that's where we stand right now. Just about start to set to start the second quarter with the Lobstermen holding a five-point lead over the River Rats, 21-16. to 16. Up it goes, and off they go. And uh, so far, no clear advantage, but now Lev Katz will get it for the River Rats. And he's going to kick it over everyone's heads, and that's going to roll through. That's going to be a behind. So the River Rats chisel a little bit off of that lobsterman advantage. And it's now 2 5 17 to 3 3 21. Eric Jordica set to take the kick in for the lobsterman. Big kick there. Can he get somebody under it? River Rats have numbers, but they can't um, mark it. Comey has it now. Lacomi kicks ahead, and it goes over everyone's head, and I believe that's going to be a goal. And indeed it is. The River Rats once again hit the front. 3-5-23 to 3-3-21. Good job there by the Rats. 
Actually, good job by both teams. Once again, the sprinklers are off, but as I mentioned before, it still has to be uh, pretty slippery underfoot, and that ball, when it gets wet, forget it. It's like a greased watermelon. Up you go again, and it gets knocked out, uh, and Lacomi trying to hit to advantage and gets it out now, and Katz has it, but it's picked up as it goes back to ground. Zach Slater handballs it ahead. Joe Connor looking to get it in his own uh, back part of the field. Handball over, and now with it is Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller corralled by uh, Burbank, gets off an errant handball, which goes to Ari Jonik. Jonik with a kick that goes a little wide, but uh, with it now is Matt. Matt with a handball back to Ari Jonik. Over to Matt. Matt can't hold it, though, and he winds up kicking it ahead, booting it ahead, actually, and uh, Lev Katz will take it now, and it goes right through the hands of uh, another player who attempted to mark it, but uh, he's going to take it now, and that's going to be uh, wide. Another behind for the River Rats, so they add uh, a point to the lead. 3-6-24, 3-3-21 now. You could say the uh, River Rats are a half a goal ahead now, but since you can't kick a half a goal, what's the point? And the uh, uh, Lobster men get it up the field really quickly. Burbank's got it now. Tries to kick over to Tim Burr and bounces off his hands and his head. And uh, with it now is Ari Jonak. Jonak kicks it toward the sticks. And Shippers will mark it. Adam Shippers gets off a quick kick. However... It's going to be taken there by Matt, and Matt will put it through. So the Lobster Men are back in front now. 4 3 27 to 3 6 24. And once again, the Lobster Men are back in front. They started with the lead, and then the River Rats took it back, and then. Lobster men went back and River Rats. So, so it's been a seesawing lead. Usually, a lot of these games we've covered uh, in the past couple of years have been uh, rather decisive and pretty much been decided by the second quarter. They've been, uh, you know, blowouts for the most part. But uh, this one here is close, and the lead's changing hands back and forth. And it's a good game so far here at Briggs Field. And it's uh, knocked out once again, and they tried to get it to Jonak, but he stumbles. Otherwise, he would have had it. Uh, oh, but uh, Cats can't pick it up either. Once again, the handling problems with the ball. A little bit of juggling going on. Lacomi's got it down. Lacomi's able to get it to the boot, but he puts it ahead of everybody, and it's punched ahead. Shipper's trying to get it now. Morton there. There's Elward down there, along with uh, Jordica and Matt Garofalo, it looks like. And it's marked. Matt's got it now, and he'll just try and kick it in toward the sticks. Actually, Zach Slater's got it now. The man they call Slats. And the guy I used to call Zack Snyder, as in the film director. And he kicks it in. Oh, it's going to be marked right in front. That's Aaron Ten Buren. And let's see here. That's a goal. Nice job there by Ten Buren. And the Lobster Men add to their lead. So now it's going to be a 33 to 24. 5-3-33 to 3-6-24. I was mentioning uh, before, uh, from time to time, I would uh, misidentify Zack Slater as Zack Snyder, the uh, film director who, among other things, did the uh, remake of Dawn of the Dead in 2004. And uh, I actually apologized to him one day, and he's like, hey, that's okay. If you're going to confuse me with somebody, that's the guy. So good to know all is well between uh, us and the demons uh, <laughs> as far as misidentification goes. Anyway, off of the ball, up it goes uh, into River Rat hands, and they're trying to move. Oh, taken off the ball, and uh, that's uh, I believe that's Garofalo again, or is it? Can't uh, make it out from here. But uh, anyway, it's kicked ahead, and it stopped there. And with it is Slater. Slater looking for Ten Buren. He's got him. Aaron Ten Buren, good to have another uh, goal in rapid succession. And the kick goes up, and. Not sure about that one. I think he might. He missed it. Yep. Signal from the goal umpire, Mark Sleets, just to behind. Ten point lead now for the Lobstermen, 34 to 24. And uh, the kick in comes to Druckenmiller, but he can't mark it. He's being harassed now by Ari Jonik. Kick goes up, comes straight down. It's marked by Adam Shippers. Shippers always dangerous this close to goal, uh, but he's just going to do a little chip shot pass, and it's marked. I believe that's Matt with it, number 11. He's just going to check his shoe and have a shot at goal. Nice little chip pass there by Shippers rather than going for the whole thing. 
Actually, not much wind today. The wind hasn't been much of a problem. And uh, that's a goal. So the lobster men add another one. 6440 now to 3624. Lobster men so far taking it to the River Rats, opening up uh, their biggest lead yet. Uh, we're talking 16 points now. And one of the keys has been the, the boots of a couple of the uh, more experienced players. So obviously, we talk about Shippers and Jordica, a couple of the uh, the Aussie imports. And off of the uh, ball up, Jonah gets it, but he um, handballs it right to Connor, who gets now Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller handballs it off, but it's going to go out of bounds. And we'll have a boundary throw in. As another one of the Lady Demons will hand. Well, oh, I thought she was going to handle it, but uh, Love Cat says, no, I'll just do it. You saw over there Andy Williams uh, doing uh, duty also from the Lady Demons as a combination boundary umpire and uh, water runner for the players. And in fact, this time you will get to see Andy Williams doing the boundary throw in. There we go. And she heaves it up, and it's knocked down. And uh, to the advantage of the River Rats, it would look like, Lacomi tries to fist it ahead, but uh, just succeeds in putting it out of bounds, so we'll have another boundary throw in. And Emily Real will put it up once again. She puts it up and uh, tapped by Lacomi out to Katz. He juggles, but he's got it now. He's got Elward right in front also. Oh, he can't. Uh, however, we have a, I believe it went out of bounds before he got it to the boot. Because I think Emily's calling for it again. Emily Real, the boundary umpire. Is it a free kick, or I didn't see a signal here. Is it a free kick, or is it a boundary throw-in? Looks like it's going to be a boundary throw-in. So, indeed, it was out of bounds before the ball hit the boot. So, that's that's the deal. Knocked out now to advantage once again by the River Rats. But they can't do anything with it once they get it. Oh, he can't get it to the boot. I believe that might have been uh, Edward in there, but he uh, got pulled down before he could get it to the boot. Ball goes up in the air now, taken by the Lobster Men, but it's kicked. And it looks like it's going to go out on the full. So the uh, River Rats will have a free kick. I believe uh, George Lacombe will take uh, take over here, and he'll line up to take the free kick. Just past the halfway point of the second quarter, and right now the Lobstermen out to a pretty sizable lead, two goals, four. 16 points total, 40-24, the score right now. Lacombe with the kick now, and... Or is it going to come down? Out on the full, it looks like. Or is it? I just short, uh, saw Eric Jordica back there with the arms stretched out, which usually means out on the full. And he's lining up to take the free kick just over the boundary in the pocket. So that that indeed is it. So Comey's kick going out on the full. So now Eric Jordica will get the kick out of his own back pocket for the Lobster Men. He kicks it ahead and... Looking for somebody, anybody. He's got uh, Matt now. Matt uh, is taken out of bounds there by P.J. Devine. And uh, Andy Williams once again to uh, toss it in. And pushed over by Lacomi. Druckenmiller's got it now. Druckenmiller kicks it toward the center of the ground. And it's picked up there and uh, moved ahead. I believe that's Morton. Morton kicks it ahead. That's a big, huge kick. Where'd that one wind up? Was that a scoring shot, or did that go out on the full? Couldn't really tell from the angle we were at. But I see uh, one of the River Rats lining up as uh, the man on the mark just outside the uh, boundary line in his forward pocket. So I'm assuming the kick went out on the full. So no scoring shot there. It was a huge kick. Just didn't uh, – had the carry, just didn't have the aim. And now Jordica will kick it once again, looking for Shippers. Goes off Shippers' hand. And – Knocked back now by the River Rats, but then with it for the Lobster Men, Ari Jonak, who gets corralled by Ross Druckenmiller. Ball is going to go out of bounds once again. And we'll have another boundary throw in. And it comes once again. Big punch out there by Lacomi, but it's going to wind up going out of bounds, and we'll have another boundary throw in. This happens a lot when you've got... Uh, the play this close to the boundary, you not you have the uh, boundary throw in. You fist it ahead, trying to hit it out to advantage, and it just winds up going out of bounds again, like it does again. <laughs> Rats. I'm sorry, the Lobstermen just tried to hit it out at uh, 
was juggled by Ari Jonik right out of bounds and kicked back in, uh, thrown back in, I should say once again, by the uh, boundary umpire Andy Williams. And this is just a never-ending loop. This is like that Star Trek episode where they get, they get stuck in a particular loop of time and couldn't move past it. Another boundary throw in from the pocket here. Up it goes and knocked down. And this time I think we have play. And, yeah, they're still going. Lev Katz has it now. He's going to try a centering ball. Looking for, not getting, though, Dave Morton. And with it now is Slater. Here come the lobster men. Slater with a grubber along the ground. Looking for Matt, but it's going to wind up going in the hands of P.J. Devine, it looks like. Nope, he can't corral it either. Slater actually is in there. There's Matt now. Matt, a handball to Slater. Slater on the move now, and he tries to handball it ahead. And uh, with it, there's Ten Buren. Gets it to Shippers. Shippers right in front of the goals, and that'll be pretty much academic as Shippers takes it in. Another goal for the Lobstermen, and now they're up by 22. Wow. 7 4 46 to 3 6 24. Just over four minutes out till uh, halftime, and the lobster men really asserting themselves now. And off of the uh, off of the center bounce, or the center ball up, I should say. Bunch of players competing for it, but it winds up in uh, Lobsterman hands. Now that's Shippers. Shippers with a big kick, but it's fisted away there. Nice spoil by P.J. Devine. With it is Katz now. River Rats trying to make something happen. Try, try to kick it over, and with it now is Aylward. Aylward gets up from his knees. He's able to get it to the boot, and I think he ski jumped it. And that's going to be out on the full, I think. Or did it make it through one of the sticks? I believe it made it through one of the sticks because Jordica is indeed, yep, it's a behind. So Jordica taking the kick in for the Lobstermen. He's lined up Burbank, however, spoiled by Lacomi. And right now the River Rats have numbers at the moment, Lacomi and Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller hands handballs to Lacomi. Lacomi sidesteps a tackle attempt and gets it back to Druckenmiller. Tries to get it back to Druckenmiller, however, he can't field it off the ground. Tossed ahead there by Ari Jonik. Actually just kind of punched ahead, so I know. Let's see, that's going to be... Uh, did they call it out of bounds or? Yep, they're going to call it out of bounds, so it'll be a boundary throw in once again. There's Andy Williams with it. She tosses it up. And it's hit out and winds up in the hands of Lev Katz for the River Rats. Tries a kick, tries to looking for Elward. He's got him. Elward with a mark. James Elward, a.k.a. Hollywood, has it now for the River Rats. And usually when he's in this close, he doesn't miss. He's a good kick. He's a good straight kick. Watch him make a liar out of me here. He kicks it up. That looks pretty straight. And that's a goal. Nice play for the River Rats, and they needed that goal to get back into this. 4-6, uh, yeah, 4 6 31 now. I'm sorry, 4-7-31. 4 7 31 4 7 31 as opposed to... 7 4 46. So right now the scoring shots are I think 7 4 to 4 7. So they're inverted right now, but uh, obviously the lobster men are in the lead. Talk about once again, you know, we, we mentioned 7 4 to 4 7. Both teams with the same amount of scoring shots, but the lobster men off to a clear advantage, so much more efficient with their scoring chances today, at least so far. The lobster men are off of the uh, tip. Katz has it, gets it over to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller's got somebody in front. However, he can't get it, but it's kicked by Morton, and I believe Morton's going to kick another goal. And they're bringing it back towards center, so, and actually, yes. So all of a sudden, it's a nine-point game now. For a while there, the Lobstermen led by 22, but the River Rats have punched in a couple of, in quick succession. And as a result, they now trail just by nine. So now it's 7-4-46 uh, to 5-7-37. And uh, hit out once again. Two advantage by the River Rats if they can do something with it. Handball, nice little handball out there. No-look handball over to Katz. Gets it over to Morton now. Morton, that's going to be a goal as well. Three in rapid succession, and all of a sudden they pulled this to within three points. How do you like that? 
six seven forty three to seven four forty six. And for a while, it looked like the Lobstermen were going to run away with it. And I mentioned before how the game was really close to, despite the conditions. And then the Lobstermen started piling up the points. But the River Rats are right back in it. Three very quick goals. Bang, bang, bang. And the latter part of this second quarter will put them in good stead going into halftime. We're only uh, not even a half minute. Actually, yeah, not even a half minute out now from halftime. And they'll toss it up once again. And hit out to advantage by the Lobster Men. Slater has it now with a big kick. Going out looking toward Ten Buren, but he's going to find the boundary line. And we will have a boundary throw in. And this the dying moments of the second quarter. Tossed up by Emily Reel and uh, gone over now. Uh, Druckenmiller's got it. He kicks it out. And it's going to go loose. And that's it. Whistle blows. And that's going to do it for this uh, second period of action. But... Talk about a bit of back and forth action. At the half, the score stands. The Lobster Men, seven goals, four behind, 46 points. And the River Rats, six goals, seven behind, 43 points. Coming up next, second half action. You're watching it right here on Stateside Footy. It's the show that brings you the game that's Australian made, American played. We bring it to you on cable and online at statesidefootytv.com. All right, guys, we gotta be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're gonna run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm going to run around in circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 60! If your school doesn't have a program, be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Back we are, getting set to start the second half of play here. The Lobster Men still in the lead, but uh, the lead uh, much slimmer than it had been uh, through parts of the second quarter as the River Rats scored a whole bunch in rapid succession. They scored 3-1 within the last, I believe, five minutes of the second quarter. So up it goes once again, and uh, we're off to play some footy again. And uh, no clear winner so far of the ball, but it's taken now by the River Rats. Handball attempt blocked. And here come the Lobster Men, although once again Garofalo tried to handball it to somebody, but... Couldn't get it there. And with it now is Dave Morton over to Ross Druckenmiller. Now Druckenmiller for the River Rats. He kicks it ahead. And it's going to be marked by Elward. And Elward's just going to stop, take his time, measure out the set shot. We mentioned in the last quarter, Elward's a good straight kick. He's one of the guys you want with the footy in his hands this close to goal. And if he kicks this one straight, he will put his team ahead. Kick goes up, and... Oh, it stops just short! And it's stopped by Zach Slater. Just short, and you can see the water there splashing. It's kicked once again by the uh, Rats, and that's going to go through, and I believe it's going to be a behind. And no, it's a goal! Big set shot there, and stopped right before it gets to the goal, but then just a haphazard kick off the boot in traffic. Winds up going through the big sticks, and the River Rats are back out in front. At one point, they trailed. They trailed quite a bit, actually. They trailed by 22 points, but now they're ahead. 7-7-49 to 7-4-46. And it's been all River Rats in the last five or ten minutes of this game. And it's uh, knocked once again to advantage by the River Rats, but they uh, keep moving backwards as the uh, Lobster Men press, and we'll have a free kick, it looks like, uh, Think of the pressure, someone got a little too anxious and did something they shouldn't have, so the free kick going to Lacombe. It's spoiled there, though. He had Druckenmiller lined up, but Matt Garofalo gets it, and uh, he's able to spoil it and knock it out, but uh, they're going for it now on the ground. Matt Garofalo has it, and he tries to handball it over, but it's stopped by Lev Katz. Katz kicks it ahead now, and the River Rats trying to get away once again, but uh, can't, and uh, with it now is Matt once again for the Lobster Men. Big kick toward the sticks. Oh, it's marked by Lacombe in defense. Marked it in his own back goal square, and now he gets to kick it. He's directing traffic, trying to line up a target. He believes he's got the target now, and it's marked! Nice job there, Dave Morton. Right along the boundary line. Gets ahead of Zach Slater and marks it. And all oh, the push from the back there, uh, I believe it's, no, it's going to be, uh, did it go out of bounds, or will it be called for the push in the back? Because part of that marking contest, yep, there we go, push in the back. And... With it now is Garofalo. 
Garofalo tries to kick looking for Jonik. He's got him. Jonik marks it. He's coming up along the wing now. Jonik kicks in towards the uh, goal area. And it's going to go over everyone's head. And uh, did it go out on the full or was it? Will, will it be a boundary throw in? Either way, obviously, it was not a scoring shot. It'll be a boundary throw in. Sometimes, you know, it's the players do the boundary throw in, by the way. But uh, to make things fair so there isn't an extra player in advantage, they have a player from the other team stay with them. Oh, Jonah kicks it out on the full. He got the handball there from Shippers. But he just squirted it left and uh, went out on the full. So now the River Rats will get the free kick. Like I was mentioning before, sometimes the uh, players will do the old, their own boundary throw-in, but so there's not an unfair advantage with the extra player on the field. If a player from one team does the boundary throw-in, a team from another player will stand right next to him so that uh, there's no unfair advantage with the extra player on the field. Taking the free kick for the uh, River Rats now is Dave Morton. He gets it and he gets it to P.J. Devine. Devine marks it, and he'll kick it ahead now. Looking for Lev Katz. Katz, uh, he got paid the mark. Jonik was right on him, but he was able to control it long enough to be paid the mark. And he'll kick it up now. And it's uh, spoiled by Garofalo. With it now is Slater. Although Slater dispossessed by the uh, Druckenmiller tackle. They try and handball it out. As Slater's got it again. He's tackled and dispossessed again by a Connor tackle. And it goes back. And uh, someone tugged on the jumper. Matty Garofalo will get the free kick. And he kicks it. Jordica will mark it. He thought about playing on, but uh, there's a River Rat defender coming right there. So he decided to stop and take the free kick. Running bounce moving up now. And he kicks it up looking for anyone in the scoring area. And it's uh, spoiled by another uh, member of the River Rats. And all oh, both of them go out. I don't think the ball went through the sticks at all. I think the ball went out of bounds. Both players went through the sticks. Big battle there. I believe it was uh, Dave Morton and Adam Shippers battling for that one. And no, actually, it will be a behind. It did go through the sticks. So as a result, the Lobstermen get their first point in a while and close the gap now to two points. Lacomi with the kick in now from his own back goal square. And it's lined up and caught by one of the Lobstermen. He'll kick it ahead now, trying to get it to Jonik. Just goes past him, and it's knocked ahead by Lacomi. He punches it over to Lev Katz. Katz takes a running bounce, and he'll have it now along the wing. Takes another running bounce, another running bounce. Jonik applying the pressure. But Cat's able to get the kick away, but nobody's able to mark it. And it's a loose ball going toward the far boundary. Jonik trying to pick it up off the ground. Not that's Jordan, I'm sorry. Not Jonik, but Jordica. But uh, all he does is uh, knock it out of bounds. So it goes out. We'll have a boundary throw in. Umpire Mark Sleet will toss it in. And it's knocked back. And Slater tips it ahead, trying to get it for the lobster men. He can't get it to sit for him, though. And picking up now the uh, River Rats. Morton with a kick. And where's that one going? That one went through something. And let's see. Looks like that was a behind. Because Jordic is taking the kick in. Indeed it was. So the River Rats get that point back. It's 50-47. to 47. Their lead back up to three. And Jordica takes the kick in from his own back goal square. It's marked by Ari Jonik. Jonik now with a kick. And it's marked there by Matt. And Matt's there. And he sprays it a little bit to the right. Goes just ahead of Burbank, but winds up in the hands of Shippers, who's then taken down by Connor. He's able to hand out. Connor! Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Burbank. Burbank gets ripped down. I'm not sure. I think that was Lev Katz that took him down. Now he takes down Shippers. And that's, no, that's Divine. That was Divine. So big tackling right now by the River Rats, taking down uh, both uh, Sean Burbank and Adam Shippers. And the kick... Attempt by the River Rats is marked by one of the lobster men. That's Matt once again. And Matt will kick it. Jornick will, uh, Jor, uh, Jornick, yeah. Jornica will take the easy mark. Now I'm going to mix Ari and Eric up for the rest of the game. And the kick goes and it goes off a fist. It's going to go through a behind for the lobster men. Another kick in for George Lacomi and the River Rats. So it's now 50 to 48. Seven eight fifty to seven six forty eight, and the uh, kick in is marked by Dave Morton. 
Just a quick kick out to uh, the back pocket. Morton takes it down. He'll just kick it up the side wing. But it's marked there by the Lobstermen. Once again, it's Matt. And Matt kicks it over. Looking for somebody in space. He's got him. Zach Slater. Slater kicking it ahead now. Looking for Shippers. He's got him. Shippers takes the mark. Shippers will play on. As he's got Burbank right there. Oh, and he's submarine. Burbank takes the mark, but... Uh, that's what you call a contested mark as a Dave Morton bounced right on him. He was able to uh, take the kick, but uh, you saw when he got up, shaking a couple of cobwebs out. Shaking a couple of cobwebs again. Hope he's okay. Anyway, that close end. No way he's not going to score. And the Lobstermen jump back in the lead now. Nice little chain of kicks that led to the mark in front. Burbank still uh, holding his head a little bit. I hope he's okay. 54-50 to 50 now. 8.654 to 7.850. This is a real tight one here as we uh, continue to head through the third quarter of this one. We still have a lot of footy to go. And this one's turned out to be a terrific game. Once again, I mean, you've seen it with the sprinklers and the fact that they're splashing around in the water. You know, it's not exactly the driest conditions out there. Not much wind today, though. It's it's pretty much just the uh, the issue with the uh, the sprinklers causing some excess moisture on the field. But so far, both teams have performed admirably, and uh, it's a really tight, exciting match so far. Lobstermen up by four points, and Bruce Rogers gets set to toss it back up at center, and it's tossed up and hit out to advantage by Matt Garofalo. Love Cats is like, hey, I didn't have a chance at that, but it's kicked now by uh, Matt. And Matt kicks it through the sticks. Is that a goal or a behind? It's a behind. So the Lobstermen add to their lead. Fifty-five to fifty is the score now. And they'll come out and uh, they'll take the uh, the kick in. I believe that's uh, Love Cats out there. They'll take the kick in. The complaint uh, for the last day hit out was the fact that uh, the ball wound up uh, near Matt, near um, Matt Garofalo, but there was no river rat there. Normally, if they throw up, if they put the ball up, either bounce it or throw it, and uh, there's not a chance for players from both teams to get a touch on it, they will redo it. But in this case, they just did it. Luckily for the river rats, it only wound up resulting in a point for the lobstermen. However, it comes out now. Jor uh, Jor uh, Jonah kicks it up. I'm doing it again. Jornick and Jordica, or jo Yeah. This is going to kill me for the rest of the game. Shippers has it now. <laughs> He's someone I can't confuse with anybody. Let's see here. Where were we? Oh, yes, that's right. Shippers had the ball. And Shippers kicks a point. So now the Lobstermen are up by a full goal. 56 to 50 is the score right now. And once again, Lev Katz will take the kick in. Lev Katz getting set to in his own back goal score to take the kick in here. Big kick in. He's going right up the corner. He's got somebody lined up. It's uh, Devine. He can't get it, but he takes it off a of bounce. Gets it over to Druckenmiller. Now Druckenmiller kicks ahead. And it's not marked, but uh, the River Rats have it. Oh, Matty Garofalo. He got away with a high tackle. He had him right up around the over the shoulder. And uh, the kick goes in, and it's going to be uh, behind, it looks like. Indeed it is. The River Rats chew away at the lead. They could have leveled the scores with a straight kick, but instead it's just a behind, and Jordica rushes out the kick in. And here it comes. Fisted ahead once again by the River Rats off of Druckenmiller over to Lacomi now. Lacomi is able to get into the boot, go towards the sticks again. It's going to roll, and it's going to go out of bounds. Luckily for the River Rats, it uh, hit the ground before it went out of bounds, so... Therefore, it's a boundary throw-in and not a free kick for the uh, lobster men. And tapped out, and with it now, they handball it over. And River Rats get it again. This is Joe Connor. Connor with a kick. And everyone's heading back. I believe we've got a goal there. Indeed, we do. You saw one of the uh, lobster men put his, head on, his hands on his head like, oh, no. Got it right to Joe Connor. Joe Connor kicks the goal. And puts the River Rats back in the lead. It's 57 to 56 now. A 
Now, once again, lead is being uh, pretty much handballed back and forth, and it's hit out now by the uh, River Rats right to the Lobstermen. They try to kick out, goes through Burbank. Loose ball now on the ground. It'll just roll out. So we'll have a boundary throw in. River Rats will be in the lead once again. And I believe that's Dave Knezevic doing the boundary throw in duties there. And with it now is Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller tries to kick it up to Katz. It's going to bounce and it's going to roll and it's going to be over. Connor tried to get it there, just couldn't. Connor just kicked the goal that put the River Rats ahead. And it goes down, now goes off a fist, and it looks like that's going to go back out of bounds. And here we go again with the uh, cyclical boundary throw-ins. All right, he goes down in the hands of Led Katz. Katz has it now. He kicks it toward the sticks, and uh, it's going to land right in the arms of James Aylward. Aylward marks it. He's in close. And he could add to this lead for the River Rats. And indeed, it looks like he just did. That's a goal. 63-56 to 56 now. And all of a sudden, the River Rats are adding to their lead. They're up by 7 now. 63-56. to 56. Here we go again. Nice job there by these two clubs. I've been saying that all day, but really... Considering just what we had to go through with moving our stuff and having to uh, reroute everything due to the, uh, the the water, these guys are just going with it. And uh, the kick by Love Cats, uh, it looks like that's going to be a behind. So now it's an eight point lead, 64 to 56. And Jordica once again taking the kick in. He needs to boom one. And that's what he does. And goes to right to uh, Slater, who gets it to Garofalo. Garofalo gets it to the boot, looking for Shippers, goes over everyone's head, and getting there first is a Divine, who's able to keep uh, Shippers away from it, and able to avoid the, here we go, the Shippers Shepherd, try saying that five times fast, thank goodness Mike Shepherd isn't in here right now, anyway, with it is uh, Matt who gets it off of uh, the foot of one of the lobster men, Shepherd marks, uh, Shippers marks it, there we go, <laughs> Shippers marks it right in front. Nice job there by the leading goal kicker in this Metro competition. I don't have numbers, but by far, he's the leading goal kicker, and he's just added to it. And he makes this game interesting once again with a goal. Sixty-four to sixty-two now. But once again, the difference is just a couple of points. A very tightly contested game here today at Briggs Field. Next up for the uh, club after this, the team, the entire Demons team will travel to New York to take on the New York Magpies. Both the men's team and the ladies team will both uh, travel to New York. And then after that, we're going to have the uh, Metro Grand Final. So it'll be these two teams battling for the Chowder Cup and the Metro League Championship. Off of the uh, center toss, winds up going to the R River Rats, but then it's taken away. The handball intercepted by Aaron Tenbiren. And he kicks it in towards the sticks, taken there by Devine. Devine's able to kick it out up the corner, and it's marked by uh, Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller hauled down, but he's able to get the ball away before he's taken down. So no holding the ball. Katz has it now. Katz has some room. Jonica bearing down on him, but Katz gets it in. That's moving in, but Jonica's got it right before it gets through the sticks. So once again, nice little uh, bit of defense there, keeping that ball from going over the line. And uh, Connor's going to try and uh, corral it, but it's going to bounce off his hand and go out of bounds. We'll have another boundary throw in. Really tightly contested match today. And a hit back, and uh, once again, the ball into space. Connor goes for it now. Stops up a little bit now. Druckenmiller there. Druckenmiller kicks it in towards the center. And it bounces right before Elward, but gets him now. He's able to hold off Jordica. And a battle for it right now. It would seem that uh, Jonik was able to do the successful Shepherd, and in doing so, was able to nudge the ball to Zach Slater. But Slater kicks it right to George Lacombe, who takes the defensive mark for the River Rats. He can't uh, connect in his kick, though. And uh, Burbank's got it now for the uh, Lobstermen. He kicks ahead, and it goes into the hands of P.J. Devine. Devine handballs it to Lacombe, and here come the River Rats once again. River Rats, their lead is just two points. A running bounce taken by Lacombe. Nice big handball there, going right over to Connor. 
Connor handball back to Lacomi, and he's being harassed by Burbank and is dispossessed. And is trying to get it out there right now as uh, Matt, he soccers it off the ground, tries to get it out of danger. And uh, let's see here. Goes out of bounds. Will it be a boundary throw in? Yes, it will. Some might argue that uh, that was uh, deliberate, but uh, indeed, they just get the boundary throw in. And it's uh, handballed over. One of the lobstermen gets it. That's a Drucker Miller who's hauled down by Slater. Slater then gets pile driven almost over the line by a Dave Morton. Like, oh, yeah, you'll t you tackle my guy, I'll tackle you. Bang. And Earl Even will toss it in. And it gets knocked down. And with it now is Morton. Morton wrapped up by Garofalo. Can't get the ball away. Uh, he's still there, though. He's able to tap it ahead. Lacomi has it now. Lacomi gets around Slater. He just kicks it, and this one's a pop fly. And it can't be marked. However, the River Rats wind up with it. Try and get the handball to Love Cats. He can't do it. But Tim Byrne tries to kick it out now for the Lobstermen. Loose ball in space, and it's uh, knocked ahead. Nice little sliding kick ahead there, and uh, Devine kicks it there to Druckenmiller, who takes the mark, who now kicks it to Katz. So Katz with the mark. Katz will get the free kick, and he'll use this time to get some targets up front. I see Druckenmiller moving up there and also uh, a few others. But it's taken now and run in by the Lobstermen. They kick it ahead now. Looking for Ari Jonah. Hits the ground just before he gets to him. However, he's able to fist to the head now to Tin Burn. Tin Burn, handball back to Jornick. Jornick. Jornick can't. Uh, these poor guys. I'm going to screw up their names all day. Jornick and uh, Jornick. Jornick and Jornick. I can't. Damn it. Anyway, let's see here. <laughs> Uh, moving ahead right now, that's Aylward. Gets it over to Connor. Connor sidestepping Jordica. Actually, I'm getting Eric's name right. It only seems to be a, only seems to be Ari's name that I'm butchering. And, oh, taken down there by Katz's and Shippers. Jordica gets it off, though. And uh, taken right before he gets over the line is uh, George Lacombe. He's got the ball now. He kicks it ahead now. And he's looking for Morton. Takes a weird bounce, though. Bounces off the tip of the ball. Goes back over his head. And now he's in a battle with it for Slater. Slater against two uh, River Rats. Gets it out to Shippers now. Shippers going wide. Gets it to the boot. It's coming through. And, oh, it just misses to the right. And Morton's still down there. I guess only his pride is hurt as he gets up. Another behind for the Lobstermen, and now it's a one-point game again, 64 to 63. And this is the point where uh, if the Lobstermen can manage another scoring shot, no matter what, something's going to happen. If they kick it behind, they level the scores. If they kick a goal, they go ahead. Every kick right now crucial for both of these clubs. The other thing is with the River Rats, if they kick it behind, obviously the Lobstermen can still overtake them with one kick, whereas they add a little cushion if they can kick a goal. Coming off of that kick in now, Lukomi finds his target, but then, oh, it's a very bad kick, and it goes to center. However, nice little soccer off the ground there, and P.J. Devine gets it now, and he kicks it right to Ten Buren, who's able to get it to the boot, but he's uh, tackled just as he was getting the kick away, so the kick winds up going wide. Handballed over there by... Uh, Lacombe, but it's going to go out of bounds. So once again, up it goes. And hit out to advantage by the River Rats as it's hit to P.J. Devine. Devine looking for Cats. Can't get him. He's being harassed by Jordica. Over to Jonik. I got it. Over to uh, Burbank now. Burbank with a big kick, and where's that one going to land? That one's going to land well wide of everything. Doesn't matter because uh, time's out anyway. That's a three-quarter time. And this one is super, super tight. But a huge game so far from both these clubs. And right now, three-quarter time, the score stands. The River Rats, nine goals, ten behinds, 64 points. And the Lobstermen, nine goals, nine behinds, 63 points. One point separates these two clubs. And we're coming back for one more quarter of footy. That's coming up next right here on Stateside Footy. There is also a very attractive extended warranty option that includes free service and parts for the next five years. But there's no need for you to get that. You failed to get the test you needed at the doctor that would have detected disease early enough where it could have been treated. So you won't be around in two years to see him grow up, which means the warranty would be useless. Okay, sign here, please. For a list of tests every man should have, go to ahrq.gov. 
One point separates these two clubs going into the final quarter of play, which starts right now. When Comey tried to hit it out to advantage, he winds up getting the crumbs himself and tried to handball it to Connor. Goes back to ground now, and it's knocked ahead by Ari Jonik. Tries to get it over to Slater, and now it's just going to roll. Shippers has it now. Shippers collides with, Le uh, with uh, P.J. Devine. He's able to handball it over, though. Matt's got it now. Matt with a handball, and he gets it over. And knocked down is Ten Berry before he can get it. And then P.J. Devine will just punch it through the sticks and rush the behind. So big defensive play there, but still, in doing so, the scores are now level. That rush behind just leveled the scores. 64 all. Nine goals, ten behinds apiece. 64 to 64. And the uh, Lobsterman trying to kick it ahead, trying to get the ball into position. With it now is Devine. Devine can't, well, tries to soccer it out of trouble. Shippers has it now. Shippers gets around Devine. Shippers is going to have a clear kick. Oh, it's gone wide. Shippers with a chance to put up the lobbies by a goal. Just goes wide right. And as any Buffalo Bills fan will tell you, wide right is not good. 65-64, the Lobstermen now up by a point. And the kick in taken by Lev Katz. He gets it over to Joe Connor. And Joe Connor's just going to boom it all the way up the field. And that's going to be a behind, I think. And as soon as the lobbies take the lead, the River Rats get a scoring shot in their own favor. No, that's a goal, actually. I thought it was a behind, but no, it was a goal. So the Lobstermen take the lead, and the River Rats grab it right back with a goal. A big booming kick by Joe Connor. I believe that's a, well, it's at least his second goal of the game. But it's a huge one for his club. And the River Rats started out uh, leading by a point. Lobstermen leveled the scores and then went ahead by a point. But then River Rats came back. See what I mean about wide right not being good? They only kicked it behind, and then the River Rats came right back and scored a goal, and the Lobstermen find themselves trailing again off of the uh, hit out. A lot of people going for the crumbs there. With it now is uh, Jonik in his own back part of the field. And, of course, the two uh, backs right now playing for the Lobstermen are Jonik and Jordica. Like, I'm not going to screw that but up about ten times. Uh, handle over now to uh, Matt from Slater. Matt will just kick it now, going towards the sticks, and taken there, intercepted by Lacomi. He'll take the opposition mark, and he'll kick it out from his back portion, kick it back out from fullback. And it goes to ground, still to ground now. Connor has it. He's hauled down by Garofalo, but is able to get the handball away. Slater tries to soccer it ahead. And with it now is Knezevic, Dave Knezevic in for the uh, River Rats. And Jordica. Once again, tries to get it to sit for himself, but can't do it. As a result, just winds up uh, lobbing the ball out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in. Once again, he's going to throw it in. Elwood's out there as well, so there's no unfair advantage. It's hit out now by Connor. Tried to get it over to Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller has it bounce off of Elwood. Elwood's got it now. He handballs it back to Knezevic. Knezevic oh, takes a slater off of it. And he uh, gets a big kick. Oh, it's marked by Jordica right before it goes over the line. Once again, these backs for the Lobstermen have almost been like goaltenders today. And now Jordica kicks it to Jonik, who takes the mark. And I did it again. Uh, up one now. And, uh, oh, I tried to uh, get the kick over to uh, Lev Katz. I couldn't do it, but the ball is loose. Divine now with a handball. Uh, Shippers can't take it. Divine. Divine taken there by uh, Shippers. Oh, he's pushed down. Shippers got away with that one. And with it now is Druckenmiller. Druckenmiller handballs to Lacomi. And Lacomi's just going to boom it over everyone's head. Operative uh, phrase here is go fetch. However, it's going to go over the boundary line before anyone can fetch it. And as a result, we are going to have a boundary throw in once again on the far boundary. And it'll be taken by Emily Reel. Up we go once again. And it's hit out. And taking it now is Eric Jordica for the Lobstermen. Jordica touches to the ground. And a nice little uh, shepherd there by Matt Garofalo. And he kicks it up the wing. Still in play. Tim Burns got it. Oh, no, he did go out. Tim Burns played on. Thought he still had it within the boundary, but he did not. So it's going to be thrown in once again. And right into the hands of Shippers off the tap. Shippers handball to Slater. Slater, handball, back to Shippers. Shippers, nice little uh, one-handed grab, but then 
He's dispossessed, and now with it to Lacoma, who gets it to Katz. Katz kicks over, and looking for Connor. Connor gets it to sit for him finally. He stops now and then handballs it back. Tries to get it to Druckenmiller. Winds up in the hands of Garofalo instead. He's got a big kick in and looking and not getting. He tried to get Matt there, but he couldn't. But he's battling there with a river rat. Devine gets it now. Devine handballs it out, but there's nobody there, but he's able to get it to Katz. Katz kicks it ahead now, looking for Druckenmiller, but it's off a little bit, and Zach Slater will take it. So Slater takes the mark for the Lobsterman, and he tries to kick it over, but uh, I'm not sure if he was trying to kick it to Shippers, but I think he ski jumped it a little bit went way over off the tip of his foot. And uh, with it right now is Lacomi, George Lacomi, the man they call Kidney. Kicks up, and it goes over everyone's head. There's a race for it now. Heading for the sticks. Jordica is going to get there, but he can't corral it. It's Elward battling for it. Jordica. Elward's got it now. Elward gets it to the boot. And I think he missed it just by the body language there. Didn't see a signal from the uh, from any umpire, but I'm seeing Jordica lining up in the goal square. So, indeed, that was a behind. Oh, that's going to kill Elward. He had it right in front and had a chance to possibly start to put this game away. And you just you just tell right right after it left the boot, you just see his head just go, oh, really? Come on. So right there, you kind of knew it was a behind. But uh, importantly, it means that now the River Rats are up by a full kick as the kick-in is taken uh, by Garofalo from Jordica back to Jordica now. He'll mark it and uh, kick it again. And he'll just go up the corridor, but uh, kind of a line drive kick, and it goes right to Connor. Goes back to Connor now, as uh, no one else was there to pick it up. Kicks it in towards the sticks now, and that'll be uh, out on the full, it looks like. So Jordica will get the free kick from his own right back pocket. I'm sorry, his left back pocket. It would be the right back pocket if I were flipping the image in the editing software, but I'm not. And he gets the kick off to a Slater, who takes the mark. And gets the free kick, and Slater's able to get it off cleanly. However, he can't get it to Burbank. It's spoiled. lacomi has got it now, able to juggle it, but hang on to it. Handball's over to Katz. Katz being harassed by Jonik. Back to Lacomi now. Lacomi being pursued by Burbank. Handball to P.J. Devine. Devine with it now. Tries to take the running bounce. He loses uh, hold of it, and then he's able to get it out, and that's a throw. Well, it doesn't matter because he could called for holding the ball anyway, but he tried to get it to Lacomi, and a couple of the players will say, hey, he threw it, he threw it. But it was called holding the ball before he even threw it, so doesn't matter. The lobster men able to get it now, and uh, let's see. Shippers can't mark it, but Jordica takes it now. He handballs it up to Shippers, and here come the lobster men once again, looking to tie this thing up, perhaps. And the kick uh, is taken there by Matt. Matt will play on, and he will kick it toward the sticks. Looks like a good kick, but where did it go? Haven't seen an official determination yet. Got to kind of wait on the goal umpire, but he's running out, so that's going to be a goal, and the scores are level once again. Oh, my goodness. Once again, they level up the score as 71-71. And once again, we talked about that, that, that missed kick before being so important for the Lobster Men that they only get the one point, and then the River Rats got the six and got the lead. Well, Elward missed. And then after that, the river, uh, the lobstermen were able to level the scores. So once again, in both cases, it's a tale of missed kicks. And with it now is Slater. Slater off the tap. Handball's off to jo uh, Jonik. Jonik over to Ten Burn. Ten Burn with a kick toward the sticks now. And I think we're setting up for a kick in here. So that's going to be a behind. Indeed it is. But the lobstermen have jumped back out on the lead. But once again, like last time, they had a chance to take the lead and only get the the one point. Then the River Rats came back with a huge kick and took the lead right back. Lobstermen in the lead right now. They lead by a point, 72 to 71. And a battle for it along the far boundary between Ari Jonik and P.J. Devine. Gets uh, knocked up now. Handball goes up and ball's going to wind up bouncing off a player and going out of bounds. So we'll have another boundary throw in. And once again, boundary umpire and our good friend Andy Williams tossing it up. And it's knocked over. Nice job there by... Uh, I believe that was Knezevic, just put it up and over, just hit it back toward the uh, middle of the ground, and now with it is Lev Katz after that kick off of the uh, player picking up the crumbs from that hit out. Katz with a kick right now. We might see history repeating itself. And no, it's going to actually go. It's going to bounce and just go to the other side of the sticks. So once again, scores are level. 
uh, behind for the River Rats, and we're all even again, 72-72. Eric Jordica getting set to take the kick in now. And he's just going to kick it up to Matty Garofalo. He's got it now. Matt Garofalo, a.k.a. Matty G for the Lobsterman. And nice big kick by him. Gets it out to Shippers. Shippers takes the mark along the wing. And Shippers now looking for Matt, but it's taken in defense. The mark paid, P.J. Devine. Nice job there. P.J. Devine let his uh, man to the ball and get, uh, the, got up. Just launched himself at the foot. He took the mark. He's able to kick it on a, on a bounce to Knezevic over to Druckenmiller now. Druckenmiller with a big kick. And Edwards got it. Edward with the mark in close to goal. Once it, and he's actually going to do a centering ball now to Lev Katz. I was about to say, Elward's the one guy you want when you've got the ball near goal and someone has to take a free kick. But I guess he was a little too far off to the side, so he just kicked the centering ball over to Lev Katz, who now is going to kick it. And I believe everyone's going back up front. That's going to be a goal. Had to wait for a determination, but indeed it is. So the River Rats jump back in the lead. And once again, how crucial was that kick? At 71-71, the Lobstermen with a kick there that was just a behind. And once again, they trail. They trail by a goal now, 78-72. to Tooth and nail back and forth. And once again, the River Rats find themselves in front. And it's hit out to advantage, hopefully, for the Lobstermen, by the Lobstermen. And uh, battle of the sevens there, Connor and Burbank. Burbank wins it, but handballs it right to Druckenmiller, who kicks it off his own man. I think that was Knezevic. Accidental smother there by Dave Kay. And with it now is Elward. Elward handballs to Katz. Katz is in position. He's just going to kick it. And that's going to go uh, through as well, I think. Everyone's going back. That's going to be another go. Oh, actually, no, it's a behind. Once again, from the angle we're at, it's a little tough to tell sometimes, but uh, the River Rats adding to their lead. And now, in order to get back into this, the Lobster Men are going to need two scoring shots. And uh, I don't even think there's three minutes left in the quarter, in the game, I should say. And uh, Shippers has it, now handballs it to Garofalo. Garofalo kicks it back to Jordica. Jordica takes it off a of bounce. And he's just going to go up the other side now. And it's taken. Matt's there, he handballs it to Burbank. Burbank. Big kick. However, lining up under is Knezevic. He's going to take it. They were looking for shippers, but Knezevic wound up getting the kick. Jordica takes the kick, though, and he tries to kick it to his own advantage. And let's see. Out of bounds once again. We'll have a boundary throw in. couple minutes left in this one. And uh, another centering ball. And where's that going to go? That's going to bounce, and that's going to roll through. It's going to be another goal. River Rats now extending their lead, and I think that might have just sealed it. The River Rats may be home now. Under two minutes left, and now they're up by 13 points, two goals and a behind. You would think this would be it. Unless the Lobstermen can string something together really quickly here. And hit out to, to really to no clear advantage. Knezevic has it now for the River Rats. He's harassed there by Garofalo. And a loose ball. Gotten by Burbank. They've got a move, though. Burbank over to Garofalo. Garofalo's kick marked by Lacomi. And he's just going to kick it ahead. And it's marked by Katz. Katz with a big kick. And it's marked by Jordica. Under a minute now left to go in the game. Tries to get it to Slater. And he can't do it as you see our portable press box camera position here. And kicked in by Druckenmiller. And that's uh, going to be uh, another boundary throw, and as it does go out of bounds, Emily Real tosses it up once again. Knocked out really to no clear advantage. Miller trying to get it. 
as are Jonik and Slater and Connor. Everyone going after the crumbs now. Knezovic with a handball. However, it bounces off of Burbank. Burbank tries to soccer it ahead. Lacome giving chase now. Lacome gets it to the boot. Big, long kick. It's going to hit the ground. Going to go past everybody. Just keep rolling and keep rolling. And it rolls through the sticks. It's a goal. Unbelievable. Just as time expires, a long shot from George Lacome. A booming kick. It just basically eluded everyone. It's what the people in baseball call a ground ball with eyes. That just got past everybody and made it through the sticks and put the final exclamation point on this one. One last goal just as time expires. And the final score is the River Rats, 13 goals, 13 behinds, 91 points. And the Lobstermen, 12 goals, 12 behinds, 72 points. And that's going to do it for this edition of Stateside Footy. Don't forget, by the way, the Stateside Footy is the show that brings you the game that's Australian-made, American-played. We bring it to you on cable TV, on public access television, also online. Come visit us online when you get a chance. Our main website is www.statesidefootytv.com. Also, we're on Facebook. Just do a search for Stateside Footy TV and give our page a like, and we'd appreciate that. If you want to follow us on Twitter as well, it's Bill R underscore SS Footy. Until next time, on behalf of uh, my intrepid camera people, Stacey Robert, Connor Shute, and Kyle Sereno, I'm Bill Robert, thanking you for tuning in and watching this edition of Stateside Footy.